Welcome, today I bring you a special preview of the ambassador's daughter. Guven arrives at the banquet and taunts Sanyar, so he looks at him angrily and asks Nair if Guven turned him in to the police, she replies yes, so Sanyar asks if it was also because of Guven that she is hurt, so Nair replies no and that she doesn't know who did that to her. The authorities try to take Sanyar away, but he tells them that his daughter is very scared and asks them for five minutes to talk to her, so they agree. Sanyar asks Kavrak to go with Zara and Melek to the hut, as the house may also be raided by the police and he doesn't want Melek to be present, then he gives Yaya directions about the money and the family, he also asks her to call Mujit to take Nair to the hospital. Nair tells them that she doesn't need to go to the hospital. Sanyar helps her to the car and asks her not to let Melek see her hurt like this. While Yaya and Kavrak do as Sanyar instructed. Sanyar asks Nair if she is able to recognize who attacked her. She says yes, but asks him not to worry about her in that situation and asks if it is true what the police say. Sanyar doesn't answer so Gedeyes says they didn't do it. Sanyar says he is innocent so Nair believes him, making Sanyar surprised. Guven talks to Akin to tell him that everything went as they planned. The cops take Sanyar and Gedeyes away, so Mujit takes care of Nair, Sanyar seeing the cab asks about it. Nair explains that she arrived in it, she tells them that the driver attacked her and because of them she fled in the cab. The policemen arrive at Sanyar's house and his companies to investigate there. Sanyar's family arrive at his house, but they see the police, who show them the judge's order. Seeing that they cannot avoid the search Yehya asks Elvin for help to distract the police while he enters through the safe. That way he manages to get in unseen but sees that the safe is gone so he tells his family and they realize that their bank accounts must also have been blocked since they were partners in the companies, so they have been left penniless and homeless. Meanwhile Mujit and Nair go to the port to get the safe out before the police arrive, and with the help of Denise and Dudu pack up the money and get Eyes computer. Get Eyes and Sanyar arrive at the police station, so Gedeyes asks Sanyar if he is not sorry, since he did not believe Nair about her abuse, but she did not hesitate to believe him when he lied to her about his innocence. Sanyar angrily shuts him up and says he must get out of there fast so he can find who hurt Nair. Nair, Mujit and Dudu leave the port, but Nair starts to feel bad due to the wounds and trauma of the attack, so Mujit begs him to go to the hospital. Zara and Kavrak take Melek to the hut. Melek tells them that they must go to save his father so Kavrak tells him that Sanyar is innocent and after the police ask him some questions he can go to see her. Melek agrees to stay then at the hut. Gedeyes and Sanyar are questioned about why suddenly when Gedeyes' father was mayor 9 million disappeared from the municipal fund and soon after they created their companies with a capital of 9 million. They answer that it was a coincidence and that Gedeyes earned that money in the stock market in America. The commissioners ask for the registration of the bank. So they answer that several banks in America went bankrupt last decade. So the commissioners ask if the registration they are looking for was from any of those banks and how come they ended up being partners when the money was from Gedeyes. They answer that Gedeyes gave the money, but Sanyar was the one who knew how to manage the business so that's how they started working together. So the commissioner who is with Gedeyes tries to plant doubt about the trust he has on Sanyar. But Sanyar on his part says that Gedeyes didn't need to steal money from the municipality since if he needed money he could ask his father for it so the accusation makes no sense. The commissioners remind them that the relationship between Gedeyes and his father was not good and that there is a suspicious record of when they returned the money they stole. The commissioner questioning Sanyar tries to convince him that Gedeyes has betrayed him and that the only reason he made him his partner is to use him. Sanyar's family is forced to pack their things and leave the house, so Haliz gets sad remembering her moments there when she was just a servant, Yaya tries to console her. 
but she says that Sanyar turned her into the lady of that house and that she came to think that she would never be in such a miserable situation again, so she wonders who accused Sanyar to be taken away and take everything from them. Then Yaya tells her that Guven was with the police. So Halis gets angry and goes to tell her workers that everything is Nair's fault since her father is the one who denounced Sanyar and has caused the disgrace in the family. But she assures them that Sanyar will get rid of the slander and everything will return to the way it was. Nair has a nightmare as a result of the attack she suffered. So Mujit tries to calm her down and tells her that they have already arrived at the house so he helps her to get out of the car. When Mujit enters the house he leaves Nair in the living room. She is shocked and remembers the abuse he suffered by a kin and the attack she suffered that day. At that moment someone knocks on the door, so she gets up to open it, but there she finds Sanyar's family. Elvin when he sees her asks her what happened to her, Nair says it was just a little accident and invites them in. Haliz enraged yells at him and orders Refika to throw Nair out of the house. Blaming Nair for what happened, Refika agrees, but Mujit does not allow them to take Nair out of the house, saying that she was attacked for trying to warn Gedeyes and Sanyar of what her father did, but that despite her injuries she made it to the banquet and then ran to the port to save the money in the safe. So Halis shuts up, Mujit yells at them that they should be ashamed to be kicking Nair out of the house instead of thanking her. Halise defends herself by saying that Nair said her injuries were from an accident, so Mujit clarifies to them that it was not an accident but that she was attacked by a gang who threatened her to leave the country and beat her up, so Halise realizes it was her own doing, Menexi. Elvin and Yehia wish Nair a speedy recovery, but Halise nervously asks if she went to the police to report the attack. Nair replies yes, so Halise asks if they have found anything. Refika realizes it is suspicious and Yehya asks her mother why she cares so much. Mujit tries to calm the atmosphere, but Nair says he should leave the house, however Refika tells him she doesn't want him to leave and thanks him for what he did. While Menexi and Haliz look resentfully at Nair, Mujit takes Nair away and Haliz looks angrily at Refika for accepting Nair. Meanwhile they continue to interrogate Sanyar and Gedeyes trying to get them to confess, the commissioners try to take advantage of the fact that they are tired and with deals or manipulations to blame the other, but none of them betray themselves and instead talk about how suspicious it is that only Guven knew about the alleged theft when he does not have the power to see so many bank details of the companies and the mayor's office. And so we end this preview, until next time.